Do you spend time working with your hands or on keyboards with screens? Then most likely you have a stiff neck. And in the rest of this video, we're going to spend five minutes doing a yin yoga sequence to release the kinks, the knots, and the pain in your neck. Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa. I offer real yoga for real people. Today I'm a guest here on Laura's channel and uh, we are collaborating this week. So if you come over to my Yoga Lifestyle channel, then you'll see that Laura's done a neck therapeutic neck video there on my channel. So when you subscribe and press the bell here on Laura's channel, you'll see that she offers some amazing yoga philosophy and therapeutic videos. So be sure to subscribe and press that bell so you make sure you get lots of videos from her. And when you come on over to my channel, I put out a video every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific. And and when you subscribe there and press that little bell, you'll see that uh, in the next couple of weeks, I believe I have a Yoga Nidra video for um, how Yoga Nidra actually helps you sleep, the hormones that actually come out when you sleep. So be sure to subscribe and press that bell and you'll see that there's some great content you're coming your way. So today we're gonna do a five minute yin yoga sequence to release all those kinks and knots in your neck that you get from you know, spending time on your computer, basically, if you're a human being in the 21st century, then I know that you've got those pains in your neck. So we're going to start with a uh, toe neck stretch and a neck stretch, but basically you could do any of these just sitting on a chair as well. If, if uh, the We're going to do some hip stretches as well with them, but if any of the lower body movements don't work for you, then do these all sitting in a chair. That's totally fine as well. So I wanted to start with uh, toe neck stretch because the necks of your toes are connected to your neck so that's I would thought would be a good combination we're gonna hold each of these for a minute and the one thing that I noticed was that we want to we're in Beacon Hill Park there's some um, little mopeds passing right now so you might hear some lots of fun noises all around us while we're doing this I live in Victoria BC so you're going to start by stretching out the necks of your toes and make sure you get all your toes involved and then sitting back on your toes. You want this, you want to feel sensation, but you don't want to be it to be sensational. Uh, so you can lean forward if you want to. Okay, I'm going to press that timer so that we're already starting our minute. And we're going to include uh, neck flexion. So you're going to tuck your chin here as well. So we're stretching out the back of our neck and we'll hold this for one minute. So we want to choose an appropriate edge. We want to stay for a while so that we get that slow and gentle traction. And we want to be resolved to be still. Oh my gosh, they're doing it. They're doing checks at the bandstand. They're doing sound checks at the bandstand. Okay. Okay, so that's a minute there. So we'll release there, and then we're gonna come and sit in cow sway pose. So we'll start with your right leg over your left leg. Doesn't matter which, because we're gonna switch sides in a minute. But if you have space underneath your buttocks, you can fill it with a soft blanket. And our next stretch is gonna be lateral neck flexion. So you're just going to make sure you keep your chin lifted so that uh, you're not dropping your chin to your chest because we spend a lot of time looking at our devices. Our head tends to be forward. So we're going to keep our head in line with our whole spine, our chin lifted, and we're going to drop our ear to our shoulder. And again, you just want to drop your ear until you feel sensation. So let your shoulders relax. Allow your muscles to soften so we can get deeper into the connective tissues of the neck.
Okay, and then you're going to bring your neck back to the center. And then we're going to slowly lower your ear over to the other side. Keep your neck long. And when you feel that traction along the side of your neck, you're going to stop. Let your shoulders stay relaxed. Okay, and then bring your head back to the center. Pause there in the center. And then we're going to switch our legs if, you've, if you're doing the cow's face or shoelace legs. And then on this side, we're going to add a rotation. So you're going to twist to one side and then you're going to add the rotation of your neck just till you feel sensation in the neck. And we're going to hold here for a moment, a minute. So again, uh, the one thing that I love that Bernie says is that you're going to let time rather than a lot of uh, resistance in the neck do the all the work. And then come back to the center and just pause here. Allow your spine a chance to unravel. And then you're going to twist to the other side and turn your, your neck as well. Just until you feel that sensation. Relax your shoulders. Soften your jaw. If you're feeling it, you're doing it. And then come back to the center. Allow your spine to unravel and feel the effects of doing these yin yoga stretches for your neck. And if you made it all the way to the end of my video, then I have a gift for you. You can go to melissawest.com slash upper back and I will give you my seven desk best days of yoga for your upper back, neck, and shoulders. And you know I love my fabulous finishers. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then you can put, let me see what I want you to put at the end. I'm moving slowly and carefully with my neck. So you can put, I'm moving slowly and carefully with my neck. And thank you so much, Laura, for having me as a guest on your channel. Be sure to come on over to my channel, my Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa channel, and see Laura's therapeutic neck yoga video on my channel and thanks so much for watching and thanks again to Laura for having me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to her channel for lots of great yoga philosophy and therapeutic yoga videos and I will see you next time. Namaste.